Okay, scatter plot and trend line predictions. So on these, we're predicting what's going to come next on the scatter plot line, um, or maybe we're filling in somewhere on the line. On number one, it says based on the scatter plot, approximate the waste, the weight, sorry, of 156 centimeters. So for centimeters, I'm gonna find 156. So that would be right here. Okay, so if I look up here, that's where it's blank. That's what we don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all my answer choices and plot those numbers and see which one would make the most sense and where it would fall into line. Because you can kind of see that there's a trend with these, so you kind of have a general idea of where the number should go. Um, and it'll be easier to see once we plot all these other numbers which one makes the most sense. Okay, so at 156, option A says 58. So let's see where 58 is on this graph. I'm going to plot it at 156. Um, that seems a little low. Um, we're going to try some others. 68. So at 156, I'm going to try 68. 68 is not even on the graph over here. <laughs> it's going to be... Man, probably here, I would say, would be about 68. Okay, 62 would be about right here. And then we have 70. So at 156, 70, again, that's going to be higher than that one. So looking at those numbers, we already know that the 68 is way too high the 70 is way too high so 62 and 58 are the closest um, but like I did earlier if we were gonna draw a line going through the majority of the points and how it keeps going green would be the closest if I had a steadier hand it would probably have gone through green so that one makes the most sense as to which one would fall in line same thing on number two, use the trend line in the graph to predict the gift card balance after five meals have been purchased. So on this graph, we're looking at five meals and we want to see which one would make the most sense. I'm going to use the different colors again. I feel like that was kind of nice and easier to see. Okay, so 50 would be about here and so at five. Okay, that's pretty close to the line. Let's try 55, which would be in between. So let's see, maybe here. Ooh. It's pretty much on the line. <laughs> Very close. Um, 65 would be about halfway up. And then 70 would be halfway to 80. So this one is kind of tough because some of the points aren't exactly on the line as you can see but the closest one out of the points that they gave us was this 55 it was directly on the line that i drew i didn't draw that they drew that number three based on the trend line what would be the weight of the person who is 68.5 inches tall okay so 68.5 let's figure out where that would be first so it goes from 68 to 70, so this halfway mark must be 69. So then this tiny little point in between is 68.5. Okay, so this is the line we're kind of looking at, okay? Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at these options, and we're going to make some different points. So 68.5 at 140, 140 is right here, 150, 150 would be halfway between 140 and 160, oh boy, 160 is way up here, and 170, okay, so think about which one of those is closest to the line or on the line. Um, number four, based on the scatter plot, approximate the cost of a three-foot ladder. So three feet is here, 
we're going to see which one would make the most sense that would fall in this line. They didn't really give us a line, but we can kind of predict and see where that, ooh, where that line would go, sort of. Okay, so let's look at 25. So if this is 30, so this is probably 30 here in between 20. So 25 would be here. 35 would be here. 45 would be here. And 55 would be here. Based on the scatter plot, approximate the this is number five. The number of responses if there are nine days for the survey. So here's nine. And if we look at 20, if we look at 30. You can kind of see the trend of those black dots where they kind of go up. If we look at 40, and we look at 50. So which is the closest? Number six, based on the scatter plot, approximate the y, or I'm sorry, the x-axis if the y is 14. So we're kind of flipping them. We know the y-axis here. We want to figure out the x-axis. So I'm going to do the same thing, though. I'm going to draw those points. So 5 at 14. So that would be about here. 6 would be here, seven, and eight is not on the graph, but we can kind of estimate it would be about over here. So which would fall if that line were to keep going, which would probably cross. Based on the following data, approximate the age at 75 centimeters. This is Might be easier. Oh, oh my gosh. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. So 75 is here. Okay. Oh, yo, yo, yo. So 15 should be here. It looks like they're going by threes. So 15 is here. Let's go to 75. And let's try 18, which is here. Twenty-one. And let's try twenty-four. So which is closest to that line? Number A, based on the following data, approximate the temperature at 50 degrees latitude. So here's my latitude, here's 50. I'm going to find the temperature closest to the line. So if we look at 25, so um, 25 would probably be here. Uh, 30, we see 30. 35 is halfway between 40 and 30. And then we've got 40 up high. Determine if the following problems are proportional. Remember, if it's an equation like that, it has one number. There is no plus B. Proportional has 0, 0 in the table. If it's a graph, it should go through the origin, or 0, 0. Functions, remember you're only looking at the x values. If they repeat, if any of those x values repeat, it's not a function. Same thing here, only looking at the x values. And on the graph, if it crosses your line more than once, then it's not a function. But this one looks like it's good to go. 
solve the uh, following problems. These are just the equations you're going to solve, like on the last worksheet. And then find the graphs slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So b we've got, and that's at 0, negative 3. And then another point to use for slope is right here, and that would be at 5 and 1. So I would use those points x1, y1, x2, y2 to find your slope. And then your b, we already said, is right here. Same thing on this one. Here's your b. So, and that's at 0, negative 1. And then here's another point you can use to find your slope. So 3 and 0. True or false, linear means scatter plots form a straight line pattern. 